Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, January 11th, 2022. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're interested in more information from La Nina to potential storms that might be lurking out there and the physical properties behind them, definitely check out the premium consulting membership that's right up there on the top. So let's get to this forecast. Well, it is very, very cold out there. Now, temperatures range over the interior from the single digits to lower teens along the, to along the coast from the mid-teens to lower 20s. And then you see these northwesterly winds anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour with gusts at times as high as 30 miles per hour on the east end of Long Island. Well, that produces wind chills that are basically in the single digits to below zero. So, you're going to want to bundle up because it won't take long for you to get frostbite. So definitely use some caution. And if you have to be outside, try to get some breaks. Try to get inside to warm up. Definitely layer. You know, all those things that you've been taught when you were a kid. Layer, wear gloves, hats, scarves, the whole thing. Now, we have an Arctic cold front that is continuing to drop through. That's going to produce maybe an isolated flurry or two. Can't rule out a snow squall, but that's about it for today. Most locations will remain ra relatively tranquil. And we're going to remain relatively tranquil for much of this week. But trouble may be brewing by the time we get to this weekend, specifically on Sunday night. We'll talk about that now. So for today, look for high pressure and control. Temperatures pretty much go nowhere, okay? they What you see now is what you get for the rest of the day, okay? with breezy conditions. The good news is that with high pressure moving over the region by this evening, those winds will subside and start to back to the southwest by tonight into tomorrow morning. And guess what? Temperatures go nowhere. Basically what you see now is what you're going to see tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon with that southwesterly wind, look for a sky cloud cover with temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 30s over the interior and upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast. On Thursday, high pressure will remain in control, but we'll have a weak trough passing through, so it could produce an isolated shower or flurry. Look for temperatures to range from the mid to upper 20s for lows and mid to upper 30s over the interior and upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast for highs. On Friday, a cold front moves through. Now, this cold front might produce a flurry or two, but pretty much it's going to keep us dry. The main story will be this very powerful storm that's going to stay over the, the ocean. Okay, It's not going to get any closer to us, but it will produce some rather windy conditions on Friday. Temperatures on Friday range from the lower to mid-20s over the interior and upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast for lows. High temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s over the interior and mid to upper 30s along the coast. And with those strong winds, it will feel more like the teens and 20s as this low pressure system slowly pulls away. Now, this low pressure system is going to be important for this low pressure system right here because it could potentially set up the block that you need for a storm. So on Saturday, Arctic air builds in and it's going to be a very impressive high pressure system with temperatures falling off below zero over the interior and single digits along the coast. High temperatures will range from the single digits over the interior and lower to mid-teens along the coast. So this Arctic air is very impressive. Meanwhile, we'll have this low pressure system organizing along the southeast coast. Now, right now there's a split for Sunday. Some guidance takes this low pressure system closer to the coast. Others take this out to sea. I'm showing you the out to sea one right now as it's been performing the best but I have to stress this there is a wide variety of solutions possible for Sunday evening so on Sunday look for increasing cloud cover potential for some snow showers temperatures will range again from the single digits below zero to the lower teens for lows high temperatures will range from the lower to mid 20s over the interior mid to upper 20s along the coast possibly a few lower 30s down to southern New Jersey Sunday night into Monday, this low pressure system continues to track over the coastal waters. Uh, the European, which we're looking at right now, is the furthest east. The GFS, which I'm sure everyone's showing on social media, is the furthest west uh, with a pretty significant snow event. Right now, I would say split the difference right now and, and look for scattered snow showers 
possibly a period of light snow right along the immediate coast for Sunday night into Monday morning. With that said, there's a lot of time and plenty of data to collect to see exactly what this could set up. And again, this is a situation where the short waves have to interact correctly. If they don't, then you basically get nothing. If they do, well, Monday morning's commute is going to be rather interesting. That is for sure. Temperatures will range from the mid-teens to lower 20s for lows and high temperatures in the upper 20s to mid-30s. On Tuesday, another Arctic shortwave or trough passes through the region with some flurries expected. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid-teens over the interior, upper teens to mid-20s along the coast. High temperatures in the upper teens to mid-20s over the interior and upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast. That is your forecast for today. Have a wonderful day and as always... Stay safe out there.